with Gus Dean, the fourth top goal in all. Oh, of Around he goes. Wow, unbelievable that it was just Corey Roper involved in that. How did he not collect others? He lost it on his own right there. The great run for Corey Roper comes to an end. Looked like he had a tremendous momentum through the center of turn three and four. Really gained on the back of Austin Hill and was pushing Hill off of turn four. And the front end just went up the banking. And I think you're going to see that was a recipe for disaster. Like as soon as he got a little aggressive, pulled right up to the bumper of Hill and really hadn't spent much time tonight on that bumper. And it's good to see Roper climbing out, but you can almost see the frustration through the visor from here. And the tremendous disappointment not getting to the end here. Came up about 23, 24 laps short. David Gilliland will get the free pass and back on the lead lap. Harrison Burton was penalized is back in the top 10 again. It's been an up and down night for that team, huh? Flat tires, penalties, laps down. I think you'll see, Vince, this truck gets some great momentum through the center of turn three and four, and it's right on the back of Austin Hill, pushing a bit, and when he comes off this turn, just the inexperience of not knowing the nose was going to be light when he exits the corner because of being right on the back of the 16, and the truck just goes around. And I think then, he's, then he grabs the steering wheel when that truck goes high right there. He grabs the steering wheel, turns a little bit left, and that's all it took. How he didn't collect others, it's amazing. Right there, the front end just goes light on him up the hill. Cranked it left, like you said, Phil. Then back to the right, but it was too late. A little hard shot into the safer barrier. Ben Rhodes was able to take advantage of that and grab the lead away from Austin Hill as they race off turn four. Well, the view there, you see it go up high. I'm like you, Vince. It's amazing that he didn't collect some of those trucks to his outside. But he had a little contact with Rhodes, gentle as it may have been at 190 mile an hour. I haven't seen anything gentle tonight. Mm -mm. Well, those hits that uh, we've seen certainly haven't been, that's for sure. A big hit for Roper. We saw a massive hit from Jordan Anderson. So fortunate. And claps. What a night it has been. You know it's not going to be anything but exciting to the finish.